Hello, this is for day 258, a Bible in one year, and our Bible text, Proverbs chapters 22 to 24, and then 2 Corinthians chapter 8. So let's begin with Proverbs chapter 22. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor, rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together, the Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich rule it over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the right of his anger shall fail. He that had a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out this corner, and contention shall go out, yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips, the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of strange women is a deep pit. He that is aboard of the Lord shall fall the ring. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thine ear, and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them. Within thee, they shall it all be fitted in thy lips. That thy trust may be in the Lord, I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things in, in counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that sent unto thee? Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppressed afflicted in the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoil them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before mean men. Proverbs chapter 23 When thou seetest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that had an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he, eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten shall thou vomit up, and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless, for their Redeemer is mighty, he shall plead their cause with thee. Apply thine heart unto instruction, and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with a rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with a rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine, yea, my reign shall rejoice when thy lips speak the right things. Let not thine heart envy sinners, be, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine-bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clot a man with rugs. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Buy the truth, and sell it not, also wisdom, and instruction, and understanding. 
The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wine, a wise child, shall have joy of him. The father and the mother shall be glad, and she that bare thee shall rejoice. My son, give me mine, give me thine heart, and let thine eyes observe my ways. For a war is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lied in wait as for a prey, and increaseth the transgressors among men. Who had woe, who had sorrow, who had contentions, who had babbling, who had wounds without cause, who had redness of eyes, they that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine, look not, a, look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth its color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last it biteth like a serpent, and stingeth like an adder. Thine eye shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. They have stricken me. Shall thou say, And I was not sick, they have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I wake? When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. Proverbs chapter 24 Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. For their hearts study at destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. True wisdom is in house builded, and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counsellors there is safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool, he openeth not his mouth in the gate. He that deviseth to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to men. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death, and those that are ready to be slain. If thou sayest, Behold, we knew it not, that not he that pondereth the heart consider it, and he that keepeth thy soul that not, that not he know it. And shall not he render to every man according to his works? My son, eat thou honey, because it is good, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul, when thou hast found it. Then there shall be a reward, and the expectation shall not be cut off. Lay not wait, a wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil not his resting place. For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Lest the Lord see it, and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. For there shall be no reward to the evil man, the candle of the wicked shall be put out. My son, Fear thou the Lord and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both. These things also belong to the wise, it is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that saith unto, unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. But to them that rebuke him shall be, shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. Every man shall kiss his lips that give it a right answer. Prepare thy work without, and make it fit for thyself in the field, and afterwards build thine house. Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause, and deceive not with thy lips. Say not, I will do so to him as he had done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the slothful, and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding, and lo, it was all grown over with thorns, and nettles had covered the face thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw and considered it well, I looked upon it, and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. Okay, next we go to Second Corinthians chapter eight. Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, how that in a great trial of affliction the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty 
abounded unto the riches of their liberality. For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves, praying us with much entreaty, that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering, ministering to the saints. And this I did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord, and unto us by the will of God. In so much that we desire Titus, that as he had begun, so we would also finish in you the, the same grace also. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith, and utterance, and knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. And herein I give my advice, for this is expedient for you, who had begun before, not only to do, but also to be forward, a year ago. Now therefore perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. For it, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man had, and not according to that he had not. I mean not that other men be eased, and ye, be, ye burdened, but by an equality, that now at this time your abundance may be a supply for their want, and their abundance also may be a supply for your want, that there may be equality. As it is written, he that had gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no luck. But thanks be to God which put the same earnest care into the heart of Titus for you. For indeed he accepted the exhortation, but being more forward of his own accord, he went unto you. And we have sent with him the brother, whose praise is in the gospel throughout all the churches, and not that only, but who was also chosen of the churches to travel with us with his grace, which is administered by us with the glory of the same Lord, and declaration of your ready mind. Avoiding this, that no man should blame us in this abundance, which is administered by us, providing for honest things, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. And we have sent with them our brother, whom we have oftentimes proved diligent in many things, but now much more diligent upon the great confidence which I have in you. Whether any do, I in, whether any do inquire of Titus, he is, part, he is my partner and fellow helper, fellow helper concerning you, or our brethren be inquired of, they are the messengers of the churches and the glory of Christ. Wherefore I show ye to them and before the churches the proof of your love and of our boasting on your behalf. Right, right on with the Bible readings. Again, this is for day 258, the Bible in one year, and we've read Proverbs chapters 22 to 24 and in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Thank you and God bless.